Can you become reinfected with coronavirus if you've already had it once? Before we answer that question, first we need to understand how the immune system works. Your immune system protects you from getting ill and fights off infections once you've already got them. And as the name suggests, your immune system isn't one single thing, it's made up of different parts. We all have an innate immune response, which kicks in when you're exposed to any infection, whether it's caused by a virus, bacteria or fungus. To fight off any of these invaders, your body releases chemicals and white blood cells. But your body is also capable of producing a more tailored response, targeting a particular virus or bacteria. For this, it produces specific antibodies, proteins that bind to the virus and stop it from entering your cells, and targeted T cells, which recognise when cells have already been infected and kills them. But this takes time. If you're exposed to a brand new virus, like the one that causes COVID-19, or even just a virus you've never personally met before, it takes a bit longer for your body to work out what to do. Once you've met a virus and your body has produced tailored antibodies, it's primed to spring into action if you encounter that virus again. We're talking about the natural immunity developed by your body, but the same principle is used to develop vaccines. Many vaccines work by introducing the body to a small, harmless part of a virus, prompting it to recognise the real disease, without you ever having to get ill with it. An individual can get immunity, but it can also be achieved for a wider group. If enough people are vaccinated, or develop natural antibodies, it's harder for that disease to take hold in a population, and that's known as herd immunity. But, and this is a big but, Developing antibodies from an initial infection or a vaccine doesn't necessarily mean you're totally protected from the disease, and it doesn't mean you're protected forever. Some viruses like measles are very memorable. Once you've had it or been vaccinated against it, the antibodies last a lifetime, meaning your body is very good at fighting off the virus. But others, like the viruses that cause the common cold, are very forgettable. The antibodies they generate quickly fade, and these viruses can make you ill even as soon as a few weeks later. Some viruses, like flu, evade our immune system by mutating quickly, but there's no evidence yet that this coronavirus is mutating fast enough to require different antibodies to fight it off. Others are somewhere in between, like tetanus, where a vaccination lasts about 10 years. Because it's new, we're not yet sure where this coronavirus falls on the spectrum. We're also not totally sure about the relationship between the severity of the disease and how strong your antibody response is. If someone has a very mild case, or even shows no symptoms at all, will they be protected if they encounter the virus again? And in some cases, having antibodies might protect you from becoming really sick again, but not from getting ill at all. Finding all this out is crucial. It could help in working out how and how often people will need to be vaccinated, and it will help us understand whether a positive antibody test can really be taken as a sign of immunity from the virus.